Welcome along to another farm build video on Farming Simulator 22 on my PS5. Today I'll be working on the Mossy Pine Ranch which is in the northwest corner of the Elm Creek map. So here we are at Mossy Pine Ranch and as you can tell from the thumbnail my horse Thor is thoroughly pleased with uh, the results. So here is the video about how we got to that point. Let's have a look around what we have already. As you can see there are um, some farm buildings and a house. However, these buildings are just for decoration and cannot be used. Which is a shame because they are very nice but we will have to replace them. Looking around this area, I, I like the way it's laid out. I'm going to try and keep it as is. Although we don't have uh, these buildings in the mod hub or in the game at all. So we just have to use what is available. We will delete these, sell them and start from scratch. So if you're new to the channel, I do hope you enjoy what uh, I do and stick around to watch the entire video please drop me a like if you do enjoy it and here comes the time lapse first thing we need to do is to remove trees from an area that I want to sculpture. Um, this is the, the best way of going about things as trees uh, prevent you from flattening land or, or smoothing it out or raising lowering land uh, and they can cause a lot of problems and um, the, the trees can, can be quite buggy. So I, I've I've shown a bit of it here but I, I will spin on to save you the pain of uh, watching me struggle to get rid of the wood. After removing the trees we can start to flatten the land and this uncovers pieces of wood that are hidden in the land so they do cause the problems. Now here you can see a little tiny brown speck of log still, still there so a quick zap with the chainsaw and that allows me to flatten that piece of land. Obviously we're very close to the edge of the map here so it does have limitations as to how flat you can make things. And here you see me placing a second one so I can 
access that end of the map. Still parts that I can't access uh, for painting the grass. And yet more wood is found. Right in the corner there, the grass doesn't paint, the tool won't paint it. Uh, but I'll come up with another solution later on for some areas that cannot be painted. One technique you can use to remove some stubborn pieces of log is to continually chop them into smaller and smaller pieces and eventually they do disappear. On my travels uh, to and from work and when I'm driving around through work I've noticed that close to farmer fields there are uh, a variety of crops that are, are growing in the field edges and also adjacent uh, grass bankings and things they are covered in a variety of different sorts of crops which have spread over from the farmers field so I thought that would be interesting to include into my farm build, which is what I'm doing here. I've just gone round with a plough, just randomly hacking up bits of ground and then following on with a seeder or a planter and just putting in various different crops in, in the different spots. And we'll see what it looks like later on. Moving on to placing the house now. Uh, the farmhouse that I want to use, it, it drops down to one side, uh, so it, it removes the land as you place it. And in, in the testing I did, uh, there was tree roots and things in the way. That's why I did my testing so that I could see what, what was required prior to doing it on the, on the build which is obviously why I removed all the trees. But as you can see there, behind the, the house it, it is the edge of the map, so it's very difficult to get it to flatten. And I'm having to stand on top of that water, uh, the, not the water tower, the, uh, the silo decoration that I've placed there to be able to reach the cursor behind the house. And with that done, I can remove that. Placing this fence next to that building was proving difficult, which is the reason I had to delete it. 
so I can put the fence in and then place the building back where it needs to go because you can overlap buildings over fences but not the other way around also I had to delete the fuel tank because it's got quite a large collision zone around it which was preventing me from placing the fence there you'll see me do that later on as well after I place it again I have to say the uh, fence tool is brilliant in this this version of Farm Simulator. You kind of forget how difficult it was to put fences down in uh, FS19 compared to how easy it is now, which is brilliant. I can't wait to see what modders do with fences, walls, etc. Because I'm pretty sure there will be some interesting mods coming out which utilize that sort of system got some inspiration while I was out driving uh, the other day for this uh, raised training area, uh, parade ground, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I drove past a, a riding school and they have an area of farmland which is flattened out uh, just exactly like I've done now. It's, it has an area that next to a farmhouse that is the same level and it's been banked up at one end. That's where I got the idea for this. So 
Well, there is uh, an example of the problem I have with the, the painting tool. I cannot get the brush to go far enough into the distance um, when I want to put the, the, the grass down. So there you can see there is a blank area which I cannot get to with the brush. My original plan was to put fences around the fields and just have the horses in the fields. You can uh, get by a horse from a, a husbandry and take it out and just put them in a field, which I do do later on, you'll see that in a, in a few minutes. But as it turns out, you're only allowed, I think, four or maybe five horses outside of the husbandry in which case it won't let you bring any more out just get an error message so that put paid to that plan and I've just had to go with the in-game uh, husbandry buildings and just put the horses in there just have a few here and there
it's always important to make sure an area is flat before you place anything avoid any unwanted surprises with the land and there you can see it just smooths in nicely once you've done that For the horse training area I decided that I would put wood chips on the floor. I'm just using a silage pusher to level it all out as best I can. Well it's not without its headaches so I've spared you the pain of watching me push wood chips around for the best part of an hour. <laughs> I gave up and went to bed and finished it in the morning uh, which only took about five minutes I think I was way too tired for it At this point around the back of the training ground it suddenly dawned on me that I could use the wood chips to cover up this bald patch of grass which couldn't reach with the uh, texturing tools. So I just did that, took several truckloads of chips and placed them in a pile. If you are enjoying my videos then please then do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to see more of my content uh, if you do subscribe please don't forget to hit the notification bell and then you will get notified every time i release a video
So here the final step is to uh, repopulate the farm with trees and bushes uh, beyond what, what I removed originally just to fill it out and make it look nice. Also put in some machinery and uh, then we'll do a, a walk around. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the expanded Mossy Pine Ranch and I do hope you've enjoyed the video. Please drop me a thumbs up if you have and if you'd like to see more of this type of content please do consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get to know when I release a new video. If you have any suggestions or questions please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to reply to you. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.